Khloe Kardashian and daughter True get COVID reality star reveals they've tested positive and pulls out of commitments but says they will all be okay, thanks to being vaccinated. Khloe Kardashian announced Friday that she and her daughter True Thompson had come down with COVID-19 again. The Keeping Up With The Kardashians star shared on social media that the two had tested positive, requiring her to cancel her schedule. However, she stayed positive and said the would all be okay, thanks to her vaccination. Hi guys I wanted to let you know True and I tested positive for Covid, she shared on Twitter and in her Instagram stories. I've had to cancel several commitments and I'm sorry I won't be able to make those happen. Chloe referenced that fact that the vast majority of fully vaccinated people who get breakthrough infections don't require hospitalization as a reason for optimism. Luckily I have been vaccinated so all will be okay, she continued. We will be over here in quarantine and following current guidelines. Although three-year-old True is still too young to be vaccinated, COVID-19 tends to be less severe in young children. Chloe added a hopeful note in a follow-up tweet, writing, Be safe everyone. This is the second bout with COVID-19 for the reality star, who previously revealed that she had been sick in March 2020, as the pandemic spread across the globe. During a Twitter space chat from September, she revealed that her sense of taste and smell, which is commonly lost by COVID sufferers, was the only thing that I didn't lose, according to page 6. She added that she had most of the other major negative side effects, like anything else you can imagine. During her illness, which was eventually shown on the final season of Keeping Up With The Kardashians she suffered from significant hair loss, and she complained on Twitter that losing her length was really a struggle for a minute. Some of her more painful symptoms were headaches that dwarfed the migraines she was used to. I suffer from migraines, but this was the craziest headache, she said in a self-shot video shown on the series. I wouldn't say it was a migraine. The coughing, my chest would burn when I would cough. In addition to suffering from the chills, she also had to deal with violent vomiting. Let me tell you, that. Beep. Is real, but we're all gonna get through this, she said. Though she stayed optimistic the first time, no one in the world at the time had been vaccinated, so Chloe wouldn't have known if her illness could become serious enough to require hospitalization. Chloe wasn't even the only person in the Kardashian-Jenner clan to test positive for the novel coronavirus. In May, her older sister Kim, revealed on Keeping Up With The Kardashians that her entire family had been sickened by the virus. She initially shared that she and her son Saint, 5, had tested positive, but the symptoms soon swept throughout the household. Her oldest daughter North, began to show symptoms and soon tested positive, as did her daughter Chicago and son Sam. Many of Kim's fans and critics later wondered if she had contracted the virus during her controversial 40th birthday party on a private island, in which family members and close friends partied without masks. However, she denied those claims on Twitter and claimed that Saint was the first person to get sick from someone at his school. False. Nobody caught COVID from the trip, she tweeted. Saint was the first to have it in our family and he caught it from school from another student who tested positive first. I then developed symptoms and got it a few days after he coughed on me while caring for him. In July 2020, Kim's estranged husband Kanye West revealed in a Forbes interview that he had also been sick with COVID-19 early in the pandemic. Kanye had it way at the beginning, when nobody really knew what was going on, Kim said later in an interview with Grazia, it was so scary and unknown. Because their staff had been sent home, she had to go and change his sheets and help him get out of bed when he wasn't feeling good. The reality star added that changing his sheets with gloves and a face shield was really a scary time. I remember someone had told me Drake had the coronavirus and my response was Drake can't be sicker than me. Kanye joked to Forbes about the illness, referencing his beef with the certified lover boy rapper. Chloe is likely protected against a severe case of COVID due to her vaccination, and children like True are also less likely to experience severe symptoms, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC. Children have been unable to get vaccinated against the coronavirus, as the initial emergency authorization in the US were only for adults. However, the Pfizer vaccine was later authorized for teens, and the Food and Drug Administration FDA, is expected to authorize a lower-dose version of that vaccine for children 5 to 11 on Friday.
Although many children have already returned to in-person schooling, the vaccines will be out in time for the holidays and winter months, when people are more likely to congregate indoors, increasing the risk of transmission. So far, True's father True Thompson hasn't spoken out about her positive test result. Chloe set off rumors of a reunion in photos from earlier this month showing her with massive diamond rings on her engagement finger. Since their breakup, the two parents have been working on being committed co-parents to True, and last month it was reported that Chloe's ex is still very flirty with her. She and the NBA star are doing a great job, caring for their daughter together, but he appears to want more from their relationship. Tristan is still very flirty with Chloe and tries to get her back, but Chloe's focus is 100% on True right now and showing True that they can co-parent in a healthy way, while also ensuring that she always feels very loved and supported, a source told Entertainment Tonight in September. They added that, Chloe is making sure to include Tristan in dinners, outings, play dates, etc. with True so they can have time together as a family, despite rumors of his infidelity that appear to have previously sunk the relationship. Last week, an insider told Us Weekly that Chloe and Tristan have found themselves in a unique situation right now. The source said the two are not fully back together, but claimed they nevertheless been spending plenty of time as a family with True. They added that Chloe has not been dating anyone else right now, but that doesn't mean she's ready to take Tristan back. The two first struck up a relationship in 2016, but it came crashing down in 2019 after Tristan was reported to have kissed the Kardashian-Jenner family friend Jordan Woods at a party in February of 2019, 